What you guys got another video here for you on Windows 10 could not be installed. This is an issue with your system reserve partition on Windows 7, Windows 8 and Windows 10. What we're going to do here is extend our uh, system reserve uh, partition to make this able to uh, update. So let's just check the disk management here. Right click on the start button and go to uh, disk management or computer management one of those two and you can open up disk management from inside there so that's what we're going to do here open this up and you'll see we've got the system reserve there which is 579 megabytes now sometimes yours might be a little bit too small and uh, you won't be able to extend it or anything from here this is where there could be a problem but you will need a piece of software to extend that a little bit just to make it easier to get that to work we're going to use mini tool partition wizard the free version so you can download this and uh, use this to extend your partition now you can use any other types of uh, partition uh, software that you want to use this is the one i'm going to be using so let me go ahead and install it. i'm going to remove the tick from mini tool shadow maker free and participate uh, in their data collecting program so i'm going to click next and this will go ahead and install the software on here going to launch mini tool partition this will open up the software here now first what we're going to need to do is take a bit of space from our c drive so what i'm going to do is go down here you can see our c drive here you need to make sure also this is very important that you are running mbr now if you're using gpt which a lot of people do nowadays then you will not be able to use this software to resize your system reserve partition or any other type of software and uh, what we're going to do is right click here and move and resize that partition on our c drive and just take about a gigabyte of space away from it that's all we need you don't have to go crazy just a little bit and then click on apply it's going to ask you to reboot your system and the reason for this is because the c drive is un in use you'll see here it needs to restart now to continue to do the process for us so we can just quickly hit restart now and this will then restart our system once this restarts it will start to boot back up again you'll see some white text coming up on the screen here and this is mini tool uh, changing the size of your partition now the shrinking of the partition can be used inside disk management with Windows 10 with their own software or Windows 7 or any other type of software that's built into Windows you can do it with the built-in software but you won't be able to extend uh, that um, system reserve partition with the Windows uh, software so we're going to let this continue and do its thing it does take a little bit of time once that's done it's going to restart the PC again and then it will boot up this will then start to boot up and once we get back to the desktop we can then open up mini tool partition wizard and then extend our system reserve uh, partition using our unallocated space of that one gigabyte which we just took off of our c drive now again i have to remind you that you won't be able to do this if you have a gpt uh, setup you won't be able to do it okay so let's go over to mini tool again and open this up so i'm just going to fire this up go yes and this will open up the program okay so now we should see a unallocated space here which is say around right about one gigabyte so we're going to right click on system reserve here and we're going to click extend now we need to change the take free space from our unallocated space you can use that little slider down below to drag it to the maximum size of one 0.8 gigabyte down below i'm going to leave it as it is and then just click ok and apply and once that's done it should grow you should see the um, partition grow it will need to uh, obviously restart the system because we are going to be using our c drive so we need to restart so let that restart again and it will go ahead and uh, make those changes for us so you don't need vast amounts of size on your system reserve but we'll just uh, show you how to do it i think there was someone in the comments section that was asking how to extend his system reserve partition and this is basically how you're going to do it as long as you're running an mbr setup so a couple of more seconds here this is now done 
So we'll just let that process those files and resize that partition. And again, that's now done. And it will need to restart the computer once more. And then it, once it does this, it will boot back up to the desktop and we should be done. So there we go. So it's now starting to boot up. And we're now at the desktop. Let's go ahead and open up Minitool Partition Wizard and have a look and see what's done here. Now again, if I wanted to use all of that space, I could have done, I could have just used that slider to drag along and use the maximum space. You can see we have now got 1.11 um, gigabytes. That's plenty on there. So if I wanted to drag that across, I could have uh, dragged that right across and used the maximum and use the rest of that unallocated space down the bottom there um, if I wanted to, but I've never used all of that. That's just plenty enough for Windows 10. And uh, that's basically how you do it. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do. Now, if you do want to use that rest of that unallocated space up, you can either use that program to do it, or you can go back into your disk management inside Windows. And just let me quickly show you here. You can see we have now got 1.11 gigabytes of system reserve. This unallocated space, I can just put this back into our C drive by extending the volume on C drive and use the maximum amount of space click next, finish, and it will uh, swallow up that little bit of space that was available. And that's it. So anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. That's basically how you can extend the system reserve partition in Windows 7, Windows 8 and Windows 10. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this one helps you out. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.